Hey you guys, my name is Lana, you on my YouTube channel and welcome or welcome back. Here we're talking about shopping, thrifting, fashion and everything like that. And last Friday I did a video on styling chunky boots. You can check it out too if you didn't see it yet. And I was asking you guys, do you want to see a video from me styling these chunky loafers too? And you said yes. I'm always reading all of your comments and I'm always answering all of them and it means so much. Feeling all this feedback from you guys. So as you asked, I'm styling this one today and I really hope you will enjoy this video as well. These loafers I got from Asus and they like super huge as you can see. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure they're sold out right now, but I'll still put the link in the description if I will find something and I also found pretty similar options for you. Chunky platform shoes are still a thing if you want to wear them this year, especially the Derby and Chelsea boots. But if this is important for you, I just want to notice that this particular model of loafers is not the trendiest right now. I love Luxo platform shoes no matter what. I love this chunky platform shoes no matter what, whether it boots or loafers. First, it's kind of my thing, part of my personal style. But if we're talking about the trendiest loafers of the season and the whole year, honestly, it won't be this chunky Gucci style because the most trendy loafers right now will be this less chunky Prada style one or even more modest Chanel ones. Just imagine some loafers that Lady D could wear and this probably will be something that in trend right now. But I still adore this one and I'm gonna wear them and they're not out of style but they just not the trendiest loafers model if again this is important for you by the way what do you guys think because i like the trendy model this chanel or prada ones i see a lot of girls on instagram wearing them they look super cute super nice so stylish and i like them but i just don't like them on me and i feel like we all need to try new things but it's even more important know what works for you but let me know what do you guys think do you like this chunky gucci style offers or this chanel like more classic ones more. So that being said, I hope you're still here with me and before we move to the outfits that I did for you today, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'm doing new videos every Monday and Friday right now. So if you like some styling tips, you will not regret. And honestly, even if you do, it's not hard to unsubscribe somewhere in the future. So push the subscribe button right now and let me know in the comments what you want me to style next and let's move to the outfits. I have 14 outfits here and you can find timeline for each one of them in the description box along with the outfits details so we start with something super simple black and white it's timeless combo make sure you pick up the right tank top here for this season it will be thick cut on rib one with halter neckline For the second outfit, I wear the same leather pants and for the top, I chose black sweatshirt with white color. It's super trendy element and you actually doesn't have to wear button up under it. If you don't want to for some reason, you can just buy fake color on the Amazon and it will cost you like $10. The next outfit I think is my favorite one. The classic suit on the bare skin is so chic and goes well with a lot of different shoe styles. And it will be super nice with the loafers as well. And if you don't have a suit, you always can just wear a random black blazer and black pants like I do here. And they will look like a suit. For the next outfit, I wear blazer tucked into the jeans. It's something that we're starting to do recently. I like this trend and if you are scared of additional volume in the waist area, some of the brands like Zara, for example, have this faux blazer bodysuit that you can wear as a regular top. So definitely pay attention to this trend. I think it looks so chic and stylish. And for the next one, I decided to show you guys something super simple that you can do right now no matter what. Because no matter what you have in your wardrobe, what your style is, you always can find like simple denim, black tee and a belt. It can be a nice option for everyday outfit and you can always add more fancy jewelry, for example, or some interesting bag to dress it up. Heaven is in. 
The next outfit is built by Rule Black White Black. It's super easy way to coordinate your outfit's color scheme. It works even if I don't have pure white here, but something super light. Also, according to the color wheel studies, different shades of one color go well within one outfit. So with the light green pants here, I'm wearing a little bit different shade, but still green back, and it finishes the look perfectly. For the next outfit, I also wanted to show you how to add something interesting to the simple, basic look. I'm wearing total black and adding white sweatshirt as a bright, catchy accent. I'm wearing it on my shoulder like if I want to put it on later, but in reality, it's just a style element like necklace or a hat. It makes the outfit less boring and gives this polished, preppy vibes. But remember that loafers are super preppy style thing too, so if you don't want to totally fall in to it just maintain balance with something casual for example here the casual element is the denim jeans and here we have the next outfit i'm wearing arm comforter here it's an easy way to add some extra layer without additional volume and if you don't want to buy it you can just diy it from the old turtleneck like i did here and i like how it looks under some trench coat so in this outfit, I'm wearing it with my favorite leather one. For the next outfit, I wear oversized blazer and a little leather fanny pack to accentuate the waist. Beige pants and brown fanny pack nicely complement each other and you always can carry additional tote with it if you need one. The next outfit is super easy to recreate. It's just classic black pants and silky button up. And actually, silky button up with jeans or pants can be a great alternative to everyday t shirt if you want something more classy. And also, here I decided to wear it on the shoulders to create different neckline, and I like the result. And I think I did this one 100 times already, but I cannot not do it again just because I love this fit so much. Sweater West is super trendy and here again to not fall into total preppy style, I add a denim jeans and here we are. This outfit could be even more interesting with a black jumpsuit instead of two pieces, but I don't have one, so we always can make work things that we already have in a wardrobe. As well as denim on denim, leather on leather can look super chic and I like this combo. And I'm also adding gold chain on the waist like a statement accent. And here you can see the same accent with a gold chain on the waist and we finally have something with a skirt. I add a turtleneck and oversized blazer to balance the feminine mini and it's not my favorite outfit but it's just because mini is not really my thing and it can look totally different on you so just give it a try. And for the last outfit for today, I back to basics, white top, black bottom rule, and it works perfectly every time. And during the fall or winter season, you can add almost any second layer here. So here we are. Hope you liked this video, please let me know in the comments what do you want me to style next, subscribe to this channel, push the thumbs up if you like this video, and I will see you guys on Monday.